Welcome to this episode of AAAE's Airport Stuff You Should Know. My name is Kevin Tafe, and I'm an aircraft rescue firefighter here at MSP International Airport. Equipment used to respond to fires and other emergencies at the airport oftentimes differs from what you'll find in your cities and requires specialized training. Let's take a look at some of the ARF equipment we have here at MSP. We learned in the previous episode that MSP has five aircraft rescue and firefighting or ARF vehicles, which meet index E requirements of the FAA. Our specialized aircraft firefighting vehicles are equipped with turrets, hand lines, under truck nozzles, and extendable turrets to apply extinguishing agents. The water and extinguishing agents our trucks carry are meant to smother the fire, suppress the release of fuel vapors, separate the combustible materials, and lower the temperature of a fire through a cooling effect. Our truck's turrets discharge water foam at a rate up to 1,250 gallons per minute, and we can discharge Purple K dry chemical at a rate of up to 17 pounds per second. All our art vehicles are painted safety lime yellow in keeping with FAA standards because this color provides optimum visibility during all light levels encountered during a 24-hour day and under variations of light that result from weather and seasonal changes. They are also equipped with radios capable of communicating directly with air traffic control. We store our ARF vehicles in heated masonry structures that are positioned at two different locations within our airfield. They're positioned in these locations at the airport because the FAA requires at least one of the vehicles must reach the midpoint of an air carrier runway that is furthest from its normal post and begin applying extinguishing agent at a location within three minutes of initiation of an alarm. The remaining vehicles must arrive and begin applying extinguishing agents at the same point within four minutes after the initiation of the alarm. This is just some of the training and knowledge needed to work as an aircraft rescue firefighter. Organizations like the AAAE have courses and certifications available to help expand your knowledge and professional development in topics such as ARF or other airport-related areas. Visit them at AAAE.org and we'll see you in the next episode.